Hello folks, uh, after a long long time I am online now. I am recording this video for uh, after about 3-4 uh, uh, months. Uh, it's because uh, for the last 50 days that my channel was hacked and it was terminated by YouTube. So after much uh, uh, processes and, uh, uh, and the submission of evidences that uh, I could get it back. So now I am restarting what I have been doing doing until uh, till today so uh let's just start so this question is from 2022 february march uh, uh, paper one two and uh, the question number is 37 as you can see from the diagram the question is from the chapter current electricity it says in the circuit shown the cells have negligible internal resistances so no resistance here no resistance here and the reading on the galvanometer is zero so it is zero here zero reading here is zero so from here we have to find what is the value of resistor r so the question is very short but the concepts hidden are uh, very long here so let's do it like this so what happens here is uh, here uh, in this circuit in the first circuit here in the first circuit we have the resistors 9 and 3 ohm form of voltage divider voltage divider so if i name this point as a and if i name this point as b then i must have this is V A B is equal to is equal to the P D across this thing A B should be equal to nine by nine plus three into this four. So this four volt is divided into two resistors. So that's why the P D across this should be equal to this resistance by total resistance resistance into this four. So it will be equal to nine by twelve into four equal to three volt. So this voltage here is 3 volt. Now, if this galvanometer reads 0, it means that uh, the PD here also should be equal to 3 volt. It means the PD here also should be equal to 3 volt. Because if this voltage were higher, current would have gone like this. If this voltage were higher, current would have gone like this. So since uh, it reads 0, current is 0, that means the PD here also should be equal to 3 volt. And uh, in this circuit also, in this circuit also, there is a voltage divider circuit. Here also we have a voltage divider circuit. The resistors 6 ohm and R form a voltage divider to this 9 volt. So that's why this voltage should be equal to, so this 3 volt should be equal to, equal to 6 by 6 plus R and then into 9. So 6 by the total resistance into 9 should be like this. So this, uh, I can cut this here. So 3, 3 is a 9. So this is uh, 1 is equal to 6 by 6 plus R into, into 3, 3 is a 9. So it is 3. So this gives us a 6 plus R is equal to 6 into 3 equal to 18. So which gives us R is equal to 18 minus uh, 6. That's equal to 12 ohm. So the value of this R is equal to 12 ohm. So going through the choices, our correct choice becomes choice number C.